let's talk about estimating square roots. So I have a number line here. This is the same number line that you're going to see on your practice. So we're going to go ahead and fill it out. So you notice it starts with 0, 1, 2. We're going to continue our numbers. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. And so you can do the same thing in yours. Now, we've got to think about some of these are perfect squares and some of them are not. So we've got to go ahead and help ourselves a little bit by um, filling those in. So I'm going to take a second and fill those in. And I'm, you can um, go ahead and do yours. You can open up your practice at the same time. And that way you have yours done and you can start working along with me uh, on your practice. All right, I'm going to stop here with the 14 and you can continue on with yours. But we're going to look for um, trying to use estimating square roots. We're going to do a couple examples and then you'll have some examples to do uh, on yours. And we'll do um, one or two together so you'll have kind of a good start. So we're going to start with just an example of square root of 15. So we are looking for on our number line where that would be. So we know that's not a perfect square. There's nothing times itself that gets us first 15. So we're going to look at other square roots that are around 15. So if we go around and look, I see one here at 16. 25 is higher than 15, so I'm going to go below. So it is actually between the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. So we can think about where it's falling. This is three and this is four, so it's somewhere in the middle. Okay, so we would write our answer between the square root of nine and the square root of 16, which is between three and four. So that's how we would solve it for our, our um, examples today. So let's do um, number one on our practice sheet. So number one is the square root of 42. So we're looking for between 42. What's around 42? Perfect square. Well, we know it's not a perfect square, so we're going to find a perfect square around that value. So let me get a little highlighter here. So we have um, 36 and 49. So we have the square root of 36 and the square root of 49. So this perfect square of 36 is 6, and this is 7. So this is between, somewhere in between here, is where our number would lie. All right, let's go ahead and do number 2, and then I think you'll be ready to go on your own. All right, number 2 is the square root of 94. So we're looking for between somewhere that this lies in between. So around it, the closest perfect square I have is 81 and 100. So this is between the square root of 81 and the square root of 100. Perfect square of 81 is 9, of 100 is 10, so our number lies somewhere in between here, nine point something. All right, go ahead and continue. Do your best.